Okay, this is Pike's Basin from the beginning, hopefully, without dying. Hopefully without dying. See, I've just finished it, so I'm pressing left to replay. Now I'm selecting the um, rifle, because that gets the best distance. With the rifle, I can shoot the guys down here from a distance. I'm probably going to mess up as I'm recording it. And then there's more by now. Just use the auto aim, Just aim in the general direction, auto aim, quick shoot, duck and hide if I need to a little bit. Generally, you don't need to too much because you get a good distance with the rifle. As I say. Collect the uh, weapons on the ground as I go. It's just ammo on the ground, really. It's in multiplayer, you only get the weapons that you start with according to your level. Plus, you can collect some along the way. So, in Pike's Basin, it's unique in that you have to set bombs. So, I'm just going to set this bomb. It's a press triangle set bomb. So this is the standard place where Pike's Basin starts. There's three bombs to set. You can set them in any order, but I always, well, no, you may as well set this one first because it's the closest. You don't have to. Now I'm going to whistle for my horse. Yeah, have to be careful that your horse doesn't get blown up at that point. If it spawns in the wrong place. But hopefully not. Now I'm going to go around to the left. One first. Now, because I'm on horseback, I'll get a little bit of extra height, which will give me a little bit of extra distance away, so that I can use my rifle on these guys from a distance. Again, using mostly auto aim. One shot, sometimes two, usually one shot at a time. If you take two shots from each auto aim, that can sometimes kill. All those ready, run in, collect whatever weapons I want to be ready with. I'm not able to collect any weapons for any reason. My ammo's full, it's not there. I've got the Evans repeater now, I'm going to use that because it's a bit faster. Set this bomb. Now, on these other two bombs, the second two, more enemies appear after you set it. So, in this case, they appear. There's three up here. You can see one's past there. There is. There's three up the top there. And there's a whole load that come running this way. But the good thing, one thing you can do with large people running in is just shoot them as they come into range and they'll just keep on running in. And never have a chance to shoot you, hopefully. Just again using fast, hold and release. Auto aim. You can shoot one horseback, which looks really cool. You can collect weapons on while you're on your horse. Now you just need to go back to the other one. Just turn around, take this route here. There's a rock on this corner that you can go on the inside of. Just here. 
always going to turn too much. Now I'm going to stay on horseback again, keep a distance. Take this one out here, okay. Because I'm far enough away, I sh shouldn't even. Sh they can shoot your horse if you go too close. So obviously, the horse is quite a big target. Let's keep a fair distance. You can go far, slow around this corner, or one thing you can actually do is just ride like that. And oof. if you stay moving, they wouldn't actually hit you. But I didn't stay moving, so they did hit me. So I was dizzy trying to show rather than actually trying to fly. Okay, so when I set this bomb, there's going to be three guys at the top which can shoot quite fast. And there's going to be a load of the guys coming around the corner. So I need to Shoot those guys on the top and then shoot the guys on the, on the corner really quickly. So I can run over here so I can take cover if I need to. So I'm fairly, it's fairly blind firing. There's a whole big bang of them. Sometimes I hide behind this rock if I really need to. We don't normally need to. And that's it. And usually it comes up instantly, there you go. And then you can just click replay again. The end.